Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to West of Loathing. Now we gotta turn in! There you go. Don't know what that's all about, but there you go. Huh, looks like these things are still twitching. Better lock them up just to be safe. Is there gonna go in the ghost shell? Cell? Oh, they are! Oh, the Gherkin Brothers cell. Weird. God damn it, I really wish I didn't kill those last ones. God damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't know there was any other way! It's not like I had an item or anything that was gonna help me sneak snonk. Oh well, there's only one more, so let me finish that up before I go anywhere else. The Potemkim gang. Come across a goblin. Hey, hey, human, what are you doing in this place? This ground, my ground is stomping. What do you mean, your stomping grounds? What? Gary, talk to this guy. Your boots, how tall they are to looking at. Yes, yes, the tallest boots. How is it such tall boots you had to having to winning them in a jelly stomping contest? Gary and the Goblin chatted for a while about Boots and Jelly and how stomping relates to both of them. Okay, alright, anything of interest? A fellow of very interest. Would you like to hearing of more Jelling stomping? No, not at all. I got a Guffin. What's a Guffin? What do I do with a Guffin? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Genuine TNT and sandwiches. Town Hall for an actual town. Peculiar! You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse has a back door. Sleep through the back door! What the hell? Oh! Hefty load! It's the back of the jail. Turns out just flat plywood like a theatrical set. The ropes are holding this thing up don't look strong. You can knock it over pretty easily, but you should probably hold off until just the right moment. Okay. Alrighty then. Just the right moment, you say. Well, this is peculiar and backwards and weird. Ah, look, a plunger. This doesn't seem safe at all. Hmm. You know what? I'm pretty sure I'd agree with that sentiment. Alright, hello. The bandit looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. Oh. Did you look near the sandwich shop? Oh, good idea. I'll look there. Oh! <laughs> Eek! <laughs> Uh, hello. Hi, sir. No entry. Alrighty then. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say. Alright, well, I probably shouldn't blow them all up. Did you look near the... Jail? Yikes! Yikey, you! Get away from me! I'm, I'm not- I'm trying. The guy says, sorry, it's really very condemned. The sandwiches were terrible anyway! Oh, were they? Huh. How peculiar. Get away from me! Ah, okay, ah. He- he runs over whenever I see- Oh, okay. Alright, well you all stay there by the real jail. I'm gonna go back and see if I can do something about all this. Alright, see you in a second. See you guys. I'm not gonna blow you up because that'd be mean, but how about I knock it over? Cut the ropes! BAM! Crash! Falls over on the real bandits. Alright, okay. Don't know why they bothered to build this fake town. Nobody ever let me into it. Weird. Alright. Hello. You all okay? You dead here? You dead? You all dead? Oh, they're dazed and confused. Take him to jail! Alright. God damn it, I got everybody except- Ah! Oh, hey, good to see you. You know, if you really cleaned up the area, I plumb out of bounties for you. Does that mean I get to be sheriff? No, but I guess you could be Marshal if you want. Oh, what a coincidence. That's my middle name. M Mark, uh, what, Mumfler Sneaky Marshal Fumperton. Fumperdink. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Thanks again for all your help, Marshal. You got it. Sorry about that bag of ears and bones I delivered to you. Meant to make that living people, but you know how it goes. You know how it be. All right, let's see if, let's see if this goddamn circus is ready yet. Oh, my El Vibrato. Ah. All right, we got aliens. Ooh. Whoa, Gary, getting strong, baby. Bam! That'll that'll make it good, right? Okay, well, I got some El Vibrato scraps. I don't have enough to get back to the guy, but I'm gonna see about this. Are you ready yet? Nah, okay, all right, whatever. All right, let's go forward. We need to go to the railroad camp. All right, what's got you stopped now, railroad people? Yipes! Ouch! The guy has stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans. What you got there? Jelly beans? Yep. Can I have one? Nope. Please. No, get your own. Well, I never. <laughs> well, I never. Where'd you get them? Ah, oh, Roy Beans. 
House of Justice and Jelly Beans. Well, that's bizarre. All right. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Snuck again? Yep. Got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. Any idea? There's an old mine town up north called Breadwood. They opened up a lumber camp after the mines dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? It's me, Mark's the location of Breadwood Camp on your map. Of course, anything you find to build a bridge out of is fine by me, but that seems like the simplest option. Can I build it out of bones? Can I do that? One of those pay telescopes. This one is designed by a promising young artist named Edward Munch. You pay your meat and <laughs> look through the telescope at the big canyon. It sure is big. It'll take quite a bridge to cross that thing, that's for sure. There's gonna be a lot of bones that I'm gonna make that out of. Alright, well, let's go to Breadwood because that seems like an actual town, so that might have a- that might have some better stuff. Oh! Open it up! Oh, okay, cool. Got a ranch pouch. I sure do love my portable ranch. You excited about that, Tim Fleur? That standing horse give you hope and dream for your- your future? Hello, are you the mayor? Howdy, Mayor. I'm Mumfler Fumperdink, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for the lumber. Alright, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want that much lumber with no upfront payment? Are you serious? I can probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem, and I've already got seven problems to worry about. The mayor glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously, offered to help with his problems. Maybe I could help you. Oh, thank you. I certainly welcome any assistance you can offer on my problems. Got a lot of problems. Look at the problem board. You glance at the problems board, which offers a selection of current problems as well as dire warning. Which of the problems do you want to work with? Dire warning? Wait, what dire warning? What dire warning? Missing mail, overdue book, logging permit, soup shortage, skeleton raid, stolen yeast, melting bread. I'll do the mail, I guess. Our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman, so he can tell you where to start your search. Okay. All right. That's a lot of problems. There's a note. Last time a mayor let this list go over three items, we chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed to the top of his head. All right, then. Well, this is bizarre. Hi. You know a town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. Alright, sure. We'll go with that one. Uh, well, well. Looks like some poor son of a biscuit wandered into town. How to cake, sucker. Wow, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cussing here in Breadwood. Sure, fine. But cake, sucker? We also like our breads and bread-related products. So I've noticed. I'll buy you a drink. Bartender pours a shot of something and slaps it on the bar in front of you. I don't get to choose? No. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Howdy, Gary. Oh, hey, another goblin telling Gary once about a place near here. What kind of place? Very weird place. All seeing through it. Okay. All right. Well, ghost what it is then. All right, cool. Just two friends reminiscing about good old times and occasionally showing one another their guns in a non-threatening way. All righty then. <laughs> oh, all right then. It's probably dangerous to interrupt this. Let's see, see bartender for darts. This guy is grimsly washing dishes. He notices you're looking and waves away at you irritatedly. All right. We don't take kindly to strangers, stranger. Don't need your kind around here. Did you say need or need? Well, anyway, the sign on the ain't got no darts. Okay. What about the guy washing dishes? That muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for just an occasion. How much does he own? Hundred fifty. I'll pay it. You're even dumber than I assumed, but whatever. You can tell him he's free yourself. Alrighty. Okay, goodbye now. Hello. You're free. Huh? What'd you do a thing like that for? I was just feeling charitable, I guess. Well, thanks. But I don't know how to do pretty much nothing except washing dishes. Nothing at all. Well, I can also wash clothes. I can play the washboard. That's pretty much it, though. Well, there's plenty of job opportunities open up in dirt water. Why don't you try your luck there? Well, all right, worth a shot. Thanks, pal. Okay, goodbye. Fine, then. <gasps> it's another spittoon. I'm gonna take a closer look. 
Look, this isn't mom and pop's family fun time saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. The people who drink in here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is vile behavior. I have my face right up to the thing. What's it look like? No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. I've got my hand right in there, splashing around. La 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 la, I'm not listening. You find nothing. You're the worst person in the world. <laughs> I found <laughs> I found something all right. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's a pair of boots, so there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have a- to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. You're just jealous of my sweet new boots. <laughs> I love it. Three maximum AP. That's incredible. I'm gonna put on my, my spit boots. Oh, I love it. I got so much good stuff. Hey, wait, that's not my filth filthy porcelain cow. There we go. Now I feel better. <laughs> oh, jeez, I love it. What are these guys up to? Ask him. The man with the black hat has a huge pile of meat in front of him. The man with the white hat looks broken sad. What you playing, fellas? Pharaoh. But I wouldn't say we're playing. I'd say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. How's it work? It's easy. You bet 50 meat and then you say name... Then you name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? Those are the rules. How'd this guy lose all of his meat to you? He's real bad at it. I'll give it a try. All right, partner. Start naming pharaohs. Toot in common. Well, everybody knows that one. What else you got? Uh, Snefankin Free. <laughs> you don't actually know the names of any more pharaohs. <laughs> Sne Snefankin Free? He grumbles and hands you your winning. Uh, Amendment. All right. Ah, that's all I got. Tables closed. Get lost. Aw. Still mad about losing. Better leave him alone. Aw. There's a trading post. Oh, wait. No. Hang on. Genius at work here. Breadwood trading post. It's a post. Trade with it. You got it, buddy. All right. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get punching. Desert eating and drink. Foraging! Finally! Monkey wrench. All right, I'll wrench. Ooh, mushroom plucking. Ooh. I want both of these, but I don't have enough money for it. Hang on, let me see. Wait, let me read all these books. Let me read these. Foraging. Yes! Finally! God damn it. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you accidentally squeezed the book into book juice, which it turns out isn't a real thing. Ah, oh, man. Okay, fine. Brawny, which increases your maximum HP. Menacing move, thick skin, increases your ar armor. I'll take thick skin. You conveniently pull, you pull the conveniently included sheet of sandpaper out of the book and rub your skin with it until it's nice and thick. You got thick skin. Then you try to put the sandpaper back in the book and end up ruining the whole thing. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Gary, you get that. All right. Deliciousness, Gary. I know, I know, right? Oh, that's so funny. All right, anyway. Uh, I, uh, there might be something I can sell for that, uh, the mushroom pliers. Ah, okay, that's enough. All right, got it. Bam. Okay, I got the mushroom picking thing. That's good to know. I owe you one piano. Then how is that piano playing in here? Well, that's weird. All is not well with this well. All is not well with anything, rather that. Okay, what did they got here? Flush it just for fun. I got a perk, Master of Flushing? What does that mean? Your toilet flushing muscles are in fantastic shape. Sure, okay, all right then. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's funny. Wash up. Ah, much better. Hello. Howdy, are you Reginald? Who the focaccia are you? Name's Mumfler Fumperding. The mayor's got me investigating some missing mail. Said you could give me a line on where to start looking. Oh. Yeah, all right. I gave up being a mailman a couple years ago, but I doubt they changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through a way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. All right, thank you. 
Guy's just chilling by the fire. Must not be a very good fire. This guy seems very focused on his beard growing. <laughs> All right. Howdy, stranger. I'm Hobart Boober. You're what? I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Mumfler Fumperdink. You seem like the traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I heard they got one at the petting cemetery. <laughs> but the what? Petting cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. You want a loan? No, I ain't got no prospects of paying it back. But I got a camera. And I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Okay, I'll do that. I got an owl camera. It's a camera with an owl-shaped aperture. Okay, I discovered the petting cemetery. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back, owl. I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, there's no point in that. I need better lock picking. That's what I need. Where is my lock picking? Ah, damn it. I need a little more XP. I'll get that in just a bit. Ah, oh, I love this game so much. God damn it, that's hilarious. Hello, why are you dead? Dunwich, Dunwich Cruton. Croissant Le Breton. What? Graves past here are too old to still be legible. Oh, I don't have this level of foraging. Damn it. God, I wish I was like a snake oiler instead of a cow puncher. Cow puncher's basic bitch. I could be, could be something so better. Anyway, what was I talking about? Let's go to the uh, let's go to the ghost wood first, just because that sounds interesting. All right, what do you got? It. Whoa. Whoa. You might expect to just be able to walk straight through, but the door of a ghost building, but some kind of force is preventing you. I guess you could knock I'm on the force. Knock. Your fist makes a distant, echoey plap sound on the barroom door, and a ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Howdy there, fella. New in town? Yeah, I was wondering if- Sorry, I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. Ain't supposed to even talk to you, really. Okay, where do I get one? Try the town hall at the end of the street! Oh, all the buildings in this town are weird and hazy and translucent-like. Oh, ghosts. It's a literal ghost town. Okay, alright, thank you. Ghost houses. Weird, right? Never heard of a ghost anything except people. Gary was seeing a ghost cactus once. Yeah? There's one down at the end of the street, too. How does a cactus die with unfinished business? Did not poking enough people? Ah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. What's this? Oh, it's a ghost rock. It's a ghost drop. Alright, fine then. I'm gonna go to the ghost town hall. Whoa! Whoa. This is a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular Cassius with the ghost of a pencil <laughs> stabbed into it. Take that. Try to grab the pencil, but your hand keeps slipping through it. Almost as if it's a goddamn ghost. Oh. Looks to be the ghost of a town hall. Looks like a regular town hall, except, you know, the whole ghost thing. Knock. Your fist makes a distant, echoey plap. Oh, visitor! You'll be needing a visitor identification card. I guess so. I'll be happy to fill in the forms. Most living people have trouble holding the pages. You'll be needing another three pencil. If you're filling in the form, can't you just use your own pencil? I will be, but the instructions say very clearly that the applicant must have a number three pencil. A number three? Isn't a number two the usual kind? I suppose, but a number three percent is fifty percent more official. Where can I get one? The Department of Requisitions is just a store. You mean the general store? It's a little more specific these days, but yes. All right. What about this pencil? I want it. All right. Fine. Office supply. Hello. Sorry. Can't help you unless you have a visitor ID, but I need a pencil for no visitor ID, no supplies. Okay. Well, we've got an issue. See, the general store won't give me a pencil without a visitor ID. No, certainly not. They're not authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have an ID. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I could issue a temporary visitor permanent. You don't need a pencil for that one. Okay, great. What's your last name? <laughs> Why wouldn't I remember my last name? It's Fumperdink. Fumperdink. My first name is Mumfler. Middle name? It's Marshall and Sneaky. It's also Marshall. Hey, where are you from? A little farm outside Boring Springs. I live wherever the- I'm farm. Boring Springs, never heard of it. What's it like? Well, it's not much to I miss it already. That's nice. Oh, thank you. Alright, how many bards are in the window of the adjunct department of records? 
What? It's a quiz to make sure you have actually been paying attention to and care about our little town. Instead of just breezing on through. Seven? You're assigned so oh god damn it, fine, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six! Okay, six and or ten if you count the doors. Alright. Fomperdink. Momfler. Marshall. Boring Springs. Miss it. In the window, you got six. Correct! Alright, everything seems to be in order. Here, your temporary visitor pass. It expires in 11 seconds. Ah, 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 ah! What does it say? Oh god, it's expiring! Help! 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 Last name? Farmerding. Oh, it expired. God damn it! Ah! Excuse me. Fine, what's your last name? Farmerding. Mumfler. Marshall. Boring Springs. I miss it. What? Six. Ah! Let's see. Let's see. Okay. It's Fumperdink. What? I just I just run it. Ah! How about I do this again? Fumperdink. Mumfler. Marshall. Little farm. Miss it already. What? Six? Okay. Uh, can I grab this? I got it! It's a number four! Oh, it's a number four, not a number three. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Look, a number four is like 33% more official, right? Ha! Nice try, but it doesn't work like that. Alrighty then. Nobody's home! Excuse me, but never heard of you. Alright, fine then. Stable? Let's see. Go away! You're unauthorized! Shoo! Well, that's rude. Okay. <gasps> Sharpen a pencil. Ooh, I got a sharpened ghost pencil. Ooh. Wait, I sharp- I- I got- I sharpened a quarter off of it! That makes it three, right? That works, right? Right, a number three pencil. Here it is. That's a number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. I see. Hmm. I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it'll do. <laughs> Let's get you started on that visitor identification. Thank God. Last name, Fumperdink. First name, Mumfler. Middle name, Marshall. Mumfler Marshall Fumperdink. Yep, that matches what it says here. Good, where are you from? Boring Springs. Heard of that? Here it's a real crap hole. Alright, how many bars are in the window of the adjunct department of records? Six? What? Wait, what? What? Bumperdink? Mumfler? Marshall? Boring Springs? Oh, in the adjunct department of records. Ah. Eight. Ah. Oh, one, two, three, ten. Hey! Ten, correct. All right, everything seems to be in order. Allow me to officially welcome you to the town of Ghostwood. Here's your visitor ID. Thank you. Say, was it called Ghostwood or- Yes. Total coincidence. Okay. Well, I got that now, so good. Can't think of anything for you. Shut up. All right. What can I do for you? Nothing, I guess. Can I help you? Uh, I can't think of anything. Knock. Oh, what can I do for you? I need a drink immediately. I don't know why I did all this. Beer or whiskey? Beer. Alright, just gotta take your name down for the requisition slip. Uh, last name Fumper Dick. First name Mumfler, middle name Marshall. Let me match that against your video visitor ID. Yep, that's fine. I don't have the meat for it! That's a lot of money for God damn you! All right, I'm gonna end that episode here. God damn it. Oh my God, that was insanity, but I love it. So I'll pick this up in the next episode. Oh wait, there's something I can kill. Ah, good, let me just murder this real quick. This ungolith. Oh, Gary's real strong. Four attacks, holy shit, Gary, get him. Get it, and get them. All right, but anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Good God, this game is hilarious. So thanks everybody for watching. Let me know how I did in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!